If you've spent considerable time around Goldwing owners, or have been out shopping, you'll notice that many of them prefer the added safety of a tricycle, or are unable to balance a motorcycle for various reasons. Despite this, Honda has not expressed interest in building a trike, according to their representatives. However, it appears that they might be considering a reverse trike like the Neowing concept bike. Look past the bizarre exterior of the Honda Neowing concept, and you'll find real engineering. This is just the latest in a long line of Honda ideas for three-wheeled vehicles. The concept is a hybrid vehicle that blends a horizontally opposed four-cylinder engine with electric motors to produce sufficient torque for powerful acceleration, giving it the cornering feel and sporty ride of a large-sized motorbike while maintaining the low-speed stability of a four-wheeler. While the Neowing concept has given us a glimpse of some of the Goldwing's technology, it also appears to show a serious intention to make a leaning, three-wheeled derivative of the next-gen wing. As MCN recently revealed Honda's plans for a similarly advanced new Goldwing, also with hybrid engine technology, which is not far from production. The advantages of a big manufacturer like Honda producing a Goldwing trike or something similar to the Neowing would include increased security, better handling, and reliability. Unlike aftermarket companies that hack into a Goldwing to turn it into a trike, Honda would have the financial resources to develop a trike properly and not cut corners. One of the unique features of the Neowing is its front wheel linkage mechanism, which reduces spin and incorporates new technology without compromising the motorcycle's mechanical appeal. Compared to other trike kits available, the Honda trike looks like a real motorcycle. This vehicle is a unique three-wheeled offering that provides a sporty ride on par with full-size motorcycles, while also delivering excellent stability during low-speed maneuvers. With sleek and sporty cruising capabilities, this hybrid vehicle is unlike anything else. Its hybrid system is made up of a horizontally opposed petrol engine, similar to the GL1200 Goldwing, with an electric motor that provides powerful torque acceleration. Compared to other tilted three-wheel scooters, this vehicle offers better front-end grip, improved handling, and increased braking performance. Although it comes with an adjustable steering damper that is light at low speeds and heavy at high speeds, the downside is its extra weight and price. The vehicle is based on the three-cylinder MT-09, which retails for $12,299 and can cost up to $15,499 for the Tracer model and $16,999 for the Tracer GT. The starting price of the vehicle is $21,999, with the GT model scheduled to be released in March 2023. A Yamaha three-wheeler powered by an 847cc triple could be significantly more powerful than the Honda Neowing, which is roughly a third more expensive. The Neowing concept features a horizontally opposed four-cylinder engine with electric motors at each wheel. However, the patent drawings for the electric power steering do not show the engine, only the complex steering system. The front wheel electric motor is also absent. To cope with the weight and extra power required by the steering system, a powerful engine is necessary, and the Neowing may be marketed more as a tourer, taking over from the aging six-cylinder boxer power plant of the Goldwing. If the Neowing includes a low-speed locking system, similar to an MP3 scooter, it could benefit mature Goldwing riders who can no longer handle large bikes. Although some may argue that this tilted three-wheeled vehicle is not a motorcycle, if it provides the same sensation as a motorcycle but with more grip, it shouldn't matter. Now, let's focus on the Nikan a little. It takes some getting used to the unusual sensation of riding a Nikan. Once you get used to the experience, especially in varying weather conditions, the extra wheel up front makes the vehicle feel like it's gliding into corners. Although most owners won't be too concerned about the 45-degree cornering angle or the ease with which their toes touch the ground in roundabouts, these characteristics are more the product of the confidence the front end instills than of a genuine shortage of ground clearance. You get the impression of sitting high on the bike, providing a good perspective of the road ahead, and the twin front wheel setup provides outstanding stability, even in severe gusts or on motorways, allowing for very relaxing cruising. The performance of the brakes is about average rather than exceptional, although the anti-lock braking system is excellent. The triple motor is functionally identical to the MT-09's unit, but the Nikens crank has 18% more inertia and new fuel maps. The problem is that while the triple engine is a feisty performer in the MT Tracer XSR categories, the Nikan is carrying an extra 50 kilograms of weight. A Tracer GT is 215 kilograms, and a Nikan GT is 267 kilograms. 
which does make it feel more lethargic. Although the Nikon still has a fantastic motor, it loses the charm and enjoyment of two-wheelers. The Nikon seems to be solidly made, and a triple motor is a reliable unit. Nevertheless, the panniers are a letdown in terms of quality. Their semi-soft structure makes them easy to carry, but the fact that you have to use a little padlock to connect the two zippers together to keep them secure won't dissuade many burglars. The Nikon already has an LCD dashboard, traction control, quick shifter, cruise control, slipper clutch, and fully adjustable shock, but the GT adds two 25-liter semi-soft panniers, heated grips, a bigger screen, comfort seat, an additional 12-volt plug, a center stand, and a dedicated finish, plus an extra axle and set of forks. Well, recently, it has been revealed that Honda is also moving towards electric vehicles. Stramo, a subsidiary of Honda Motor, entered the market for electric three-wheel scooters on Monday. Stramo, a startup in Honda's business creation program, held a press conference to introduce its new, self-titled electric scooter. With a limited number of 300 units at a price of 260,000 yen, $1,900, the company has started accepting online pre-orders from individuals. The Stramo can ride 30 kilometers on a single charge and weighs 20 kilograms. Drivers use their weight to steer the car, much like they would when skiing, in addition to physically controlling the accelerator and brakes. Before the year is through, the three-wheelers will be available for purchase in Japan, and in 2023, they will be available in Europe. When operating a motorized bicycle on public roads in Japan, drivers must obtain a Class 1 motorized bicycle license and wear a helmet. By the end of 2022, Stramo will provide a subscription service for businesses that will allow employees to use the electric scooter in off-road environments like industries and universities. The law was changed in April of this year, and within two years, electric scooters will be able to travel on public highways without a driver's license. Yotaro Mori, CEO of Stramo, stated at a press conference that he expected the company's market share to grow. Demand will rise even more after the law is changed, he predicted. The company plans to update its product line to include mirrors, turn signals, and pedestrian speed indication lights in order to meet the requirements of the new rule. The electric scooter market is currently dominated by startups, but established automakers are aiming to enter the fray by adapting safety technologies developed for motorcycles and automobiles. So that was all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time, folks.